So I'm going to take you through how you might set targets by subject according to your minimum expected grades. Now, I've done a webinar on minimum expected grade generation. That is on the website if you want to look at that recording. It's about half an hour. Um, but I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video that you understand minimum expected grades. So the next thing to do is to look at how that minimum expected grade uh, translates into your subject. OK, so all of your thermometers are unique. Um, and if we start with a, an ALP score of 1.00, that means that every student in your class has gained their minimum expected grade. The calculation brings that out to 1.00. So what you then have to understand is how that maps onto your unique subject thermometer. So I'm going to just put a thermometer up there and you can see that at A level, a biology score of 1.00 will populate you in the top 10% of biology departments nationally, but in media studies will actually push you further down the thermometer and put you in the bottom 40%. Now, just beware, that has not anything to do with the level of difficulty of the subject. There's lots of factors there. So it just, that's the fact, that's where the, the subjects are coming out on the thermometer. So, in other words, that students getting their MEGs and where that puts you as a department um, depends on what your subject is, because students are making better progress in some subjects nationally than in others. OK, so what you have to do in terms of target setting is understand that and then set targets by your subject according to those MEGs in a slightly different way. So let's take uh, a biology teacher. So they might look at their unique thermometer and say, right, OK, if all of my students get the MEG, then that will put me in the top 10 percent of depart departments nationally. And that's quite aspirational. So you might target set at that MEG. That might be your subject target for biology. But if I'm a media studies teacher and I do that and they all get the MEG, then that actually puts me at an ALPS grade of a six, which is arguably not as aspirational. So I may want to target set in media studies one up from the MEG, uh, which is potentially more aspirational. The last bullet point there, though, is just a sort of caveat to say, clearly, you know, the student sitting in front of you and I'm being very generic. But obviously, there are other things that you want to take into account, and particularly if you're teaching um, a creative arts subject. So let's just look at that at um, two departmental levels. I've chosen two different departments. Let's look at chemistry first. That is a unique thermometer for A-level chemistry. It runs from 1.05 down to 0.43. And there's this, the drama um, A-level thermometer running, look, from 1.26 down. So that's actually quite a different, very different, unique thermometer. And I've chosen those specifically to show you the difference between the two. So let's say I have a chemistry department who scores 1.02. In other words, every student in that class or in that department, those 16 students, have pretty much matched their MEG. OK, then let me take the drama department. There's 26 students and they scored 1.04, which is pretty much in line with that. Uh, which means that every student has all has hit their meg. There might be a couple who are over their meg. So let's plot that onto those two thermometers. So there's the chemistry one. Um, a score of 1.02 gives me a grade two, which is within the top 10% of chemistry departments nationally. Now, although my drama score is actually higher than my chemistry score, it plots me at a grade four because students in drama make better progress nationally than students in chemistry. So to summarize then, in order to set your subject targets, use the MEG, work out what a score of one gets you on your, your unique thermometer, and then target set according to that, either at the MEG or above the MEG, uh, and the number of students that you target set above the MEG will depend on what your thermometer looks like.